Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the March seasonal items that you will be able to get in Animal Crossing New Horizons when the game updates on February the 25th. There's actually some really cool new items here that they didn't show off at all in the trailer but instead showed off on their websites. So I'm going to be going over all of the details you need to know about these new items and when you can get a hold of them yourself. If you're excited for this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for even more Animal Crossing content and news. So the first item that you can get your hands on in this update will be actually two for the Girls' Day holiday in Japan, which will be celebrated on February the 25th. So basically, when the update comes out, you'll be able to get these items right away up until March the 3rd. There are two items here that you can get a hold of, the Girls' Day Doll Set, which is a really cool item that I believe was in Animal Crossing New Leaf, and maybe other games, but it's here in Animal Crossing New Horizons now, and it looks really great, it's definitely a very cool looking item, so that's exciting. And next we have one that is probably my personal favourite out of all of these new items within the sort of seasonal side of things anyways, which is the Bon Bori Lamp, which just looks really cool, it's going to go so well with Japanese themed islands, and a lot of people when they saw this screenshot were kind of worried that that lamp was not separate from the girls day doll set but it is a separate item and you can place these lamps wherever you want so i'm definitely really excited about that i want to have a ton of these around my island they look really really great and it'd be even better if you could actually customize these items too though i'm not so sure about that because i believe typically you can't actually customize your seasonal display items the ones that you get from the seasonal tab so that might not be possible, but maybe there'll be different color variations that are within the update that we just haven't seen yet. That would be great, so I'm definitely hoping for that. So next, this one is so strange. I honestly don't know why they did this. I'm not complaining though, I'm happy about it. It just seems like such an odd thing for Animal Crossing, but hey, it's here. To celebrate Pi Day, which is something I never thought they would really celebrate in Animal Crossing New Horizons, is something that's obviously happening on March the 14th and you can get a hold of this pie pie. Um, it is literally a baked pie with the pie symbol so it's a new food item, uh, a kind of a strange one but still I know people have been wanting more food items and you got to give the kudos to this seasonal sort of items tab because it has actually given us so many different food items now. We have actually quite a lot here in New Horizons when when, it, when we started off, I don't believe we really had any at all. So the fact that we've got so many different ones now is really great. I still think it'd be great to see a proper food update where we get an absolute ton of different food items. But I'm definitely happy about this one. And I think them celebrating Pi Day in Animal Crossing New Horizons is strange. But it's a nice surprise and it's good to see them do different things in the game. So absolutely no complaints from me there. I'm looking forward to getting hold of this item. So the most exciting one on the list, I would say for most people is the one for St. Patrick's Day, which actually brings a bunch of different items. So we have three green, obviously green themed seasonal items, which are the Shamrock Rug, which is really cool looking, I love that. We have the Shamrock Door Plate, which you can actually see on the wall. So that's something that you will be able to put on your door, on your house, obviously. You can put it on the wall if you'd like. And of course, you can also give it to your villagers and they can put it on their doors. So that's going to look really, really great. I'm definitely happy to see that. Another really cool one is the Shamrock Soda, which is obviously a holdable item that I'm assuming you can drink. I don't believe we probably had a drink in Animal Crossing up until this point. So that's definitely very exciting to see. Although I guess we did have the fizzy apple juice or the fizzy cider or whatever it was called in the American version of the game. So we've got another one now that you can enjoy and you can drink. That's definitely a lot of fun. It's unknown whether anything will actually happen in the game on this sort of holiday on St. Patrick's Day. Maybe there'll be a sort of mini event where Isabel will mention that it's going on and maybe your villagers will be wearing green on that day or something. I don't know, but that would definitely be really cool if they did that. These items will be available from March the 10th to the 17th. So you've got to wait a little bit before you can actually get these, which is a shame, but it won't be too long. Around that time, it's also worth noting that the Able Sisters will be selling these brand new clothing items that you can get a hold of. Now, it seems like there are four, but it might be free. There's definitely the new hat, which looks amazing. There's at least a new shirt, but it might be a shirt and trousers. It might be like one of those four outfits they do. I think that's probably more likely. And then, of course, you've got the shoes too. 
So yeah, it's definitely a really cool new outfit to dress up in for St. Patrick's Day. All of these items look really great and I definitely can't wait to get my hands on them. It's just such a shame they didn't bring back the four leaf clovers to Animal Crossing New Horizons. That would have been really great. So hopefully we can see those happen and come back at some time in the future. That would be amazing. Now I want to talk about one more thing that's within this update that you'll get right away for downloading the update and this is of course the free gift. We've seen free gifts with all of these updates now and this one's very cool. It is a Mario themed wallpaper. Now I think it'd be amazing if this item was animated like some of the wallpapers are. I actually think that's very likely. It kind of surprised me if not. So this is one of the Mario items that you can get right away. You will have to wait until March the 1st in real time to get the rest, however. I don't think you'll be able to time travel to get the other items if you want to do that. You'll probably have to wait in real time to unlock them, just like you do with these seasonal items. But still, it's cool that you can get a hold of this Mario wallpaper ahead of that time. You can kind of get a sneak peek of all the new items. And it's definitely really exciting to get another cool gift from Nintendo. Of course, it's not been that long since the previous update when we got our Maracas gift. So I'll never say no to more gifts. So this will be version 1.8 of Animal Crossing, the Mario update. And of course, like I mentioned, it is coming out on February the 25th. But most things will kind of be happening on March. We don't know yet if there'll be an anniversary update for Animal Crossing New Horizons. I certainly hope so. I think it'd be such a shame if they don't do anything for the anniversary. But put it this way, there's still plenty of time for them to announce another update. It seems like they're being very vague. They didn't announce when the next update is going to be. So as soon as we know more information, I will make a video on it. I'd also love for you guys to let me know in the comment section down below what you think of all of these different new items. I honestly think, I honestly think they're so cool and I really can't wait to get my hands on these Mario items. My favourite is definitely the pipe, which I think most people will probably agree with. But the seasonal items are really cool too. I love the ones for St. Patrick's Day. I think they've done a really good job putting those in the game. So keep an eye out for all of these different things going on in March. Animal Crossing once again has put a ton of different stuff hidden in the game that they didn't mention in the trailer, which is odd to me because I feel like it would have been good to mention these seasonal items within the actual trailer, but I guess they just wanted to focus on Mario. So yeah, let me know what you think of these new seasonal items. Are you excited to get a hold of them? And if you've watched all the way through, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below to let me know that you've done so. If you want to help support my channel, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more and become a channel member. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks for doing so like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, exclusive content and so much more. So consider joining all of these different people on screen and becoming a member of the Bob's Gang. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe for even more Animal Crossing content, and if you haven't already, be sure to turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos and news as soon as they happen. Once again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one for more Animal Crossing.